Let's try to um, uh, Good morning. Oh, Peter Boomer. Welcome. Right, let's start the timer. No, that was the wrong time. Thirty minutes. Start. Hopefully, it'll could be correct time. Morning, Dennis. All right, let's do something. I went this morning before work and got a haircut and a shave, or groomed, rather. <laughs> it's a good feeling to have a, a new haircut. Uh, it's, it's like um, you buy buy a new toy or or something. <laughs> Silly feeling, really. When you think about it, like the human is a weird animal. We go and and have some other monkey cut our fur. <laughs> it's really weird. Oh yeah, Peter? Awesome. Are you also going to be doing a, a warm-up? Or just do your own spin on things? I think, I think it's important like to show that you have to practice, right? It doesn't come for free, <laughs> you know? Uh, the thing is, we I wasn't either, Peter, but I we made it a routine at work. So now it's actually scheduled daily at work. So everyone at this time that spends 30 minutes doing a warm-up and I just decided like why not just make a thing out of it and, and uh, twitch it you know, and let uh, other people be a part of it. I tried to do that as well, uh, Peter. Like. I had this idea, like, okay, let's try to to start twitching more or, or stream more uh, regularly, but it just ended up me not um, doing it, just because it wasn't a set time and date, you know. So I decided, uh, you know, we decided, like, let's do the warm up. So I thought, okay, so that I don't skip the warm up, I will make. A schedule where every day I will stream it so that I can't cheat you know like oh, I'm just gonna do some work or, or uh, give the, the the gang some feedback or, or just gonna do this paint over or whatever it just ends up not being a warm-up you know morning uh, Thea I guess or Turner Good morning, 
Good morning, Razor Soul Art from Lead Shopping. Yeah, Dennis, that you're doing some characters as well. But the thing is, with with uh, I think with uh, these warm-ups, is that it, it's really good to experiment and explore. It doesn't matter. If you just spend 30 minutes, and 30 minutes is nothing. Uh, you know, you can just sit and, and do stuff and see what comes out, rather than like having the pressure of, ah, I need to perform. Like this needs to look good. You know, it doesn't doesn't need to exist that pressure. You know, we should just experiment. And like, if you look in my sketchbooks, I should bring some uh, uh, on the next workshop. Uh, you know, they're just full of experiments and fail attempts. You know, like my 30-minute warm-ups. <laughs> you know, they're not meant to 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 wow anyone. You know, they're meant for me to explore either process or thought or approach. You know. Yeah, making your own anatomy, obviously, which I am doing now, is fun. You know, I like I like doing it. I've I think I've liked doing it too much to the point now that I, I struggle to make a super accurate human anatomy. <laughs> I've had too much fun. Yeah, there's a I I was um, at a workshop uh, with uh, Glenn Vilpo which is a really good uh, anatomy teacher and his thought process and approach is very much uh, like mine. I'm not saying I'm a Glenn Vilpo, but uh, we have similar uh, approaches to things. Hey, Andy Nolan. Good morning. Willkommen. My cat just completely plunged in my lap. I could feel one of her paws just fall off my knee. She's wide asleep. Oh yes, of course, Glenn Vilpo, he never dies. No, touch wood. Um, good morning, Chris. Ye God, we meet again. Um, this countdown app is um, something called um, what's it called? Snaz. It's an additional program you need to install uh, and uh, kind of have through your uh, OBS. Uh, open broadcasting s software uh, and uh, what you do in open broadcasting software is you just say I have this thing and then this program runs through OBS so it, the, it, it counts everything on its own and not the, through OBS but the OBS displays it but there's all different sorts of things in this SNAS you can have countdowns count ups, uh, show date and time, all these things. Uh, Andy, I just googled it. I need a countdown timer for OBS and uh, everyone was talking about this snaz thing. Um, I was kind of dawned on me like hitting the links to forums where they showed code. And I was like, oh, do I need to sit and dig through code and, and stuff to learn this? But uh, there was a YouTube video um, associated with the download site of uh, SNAZ. So I had a look at that and I was like, oh, it's not that hard. So I plugged it in. And lo and behold, it's there. Hello, Evren and Arpech. Well, I, I'm not that smart when it comes to that, but I made it work. No. It looks cool, though. It makes things a little bit more um, obvious, and everyone can uh, participate. 
Yeah, there's loads of them. Loads of them. I think it's a cool, um, cool little app. And uh, I want to definitely want to expand my uh, kind of interaction with you all. Um, I just don't know what plugins to install and all these things. But I mean, if there is interest, uh, one idea was a suggestion board, you know, like of topics to an alien, draw a cowboy or whatever. You know? Or maybe a random theme generator that would be cool too. But yeah, I, I just need to. Uh, I'm going to have a lecture next week, um, IFCC lecture, and after that, I'm going to have way more time um, to relax. I'll, I'm going to just have my uh, the damned IP to work on and a day job, so that's going to be sweet. All right, this is uh, purely on the stream. Uh, but I think you can have the timer also just for Windows. Uh, this uh, snaps. Now, this guy definitely needs a face. Question is, where is he having his face? Should his face be down here? <laughs> it's kind of cool though, even though it's a bit silly. Weird. Today is very experimental, for sure. It's Peter's influence. I blame you, Peter. Getting this kind of rotten flesh feel. I, I kind of dig it. It's weird. Inspiration is an interesting thing, isn't it? It's a really. Um, thin line to, to tread down, right? Where is the line of inspiration and theft? <laughs> Peter, I'm telling you, you need to do a 30 minute warm up as well. That's so much fun. Even though, you know, you, you don't gonna have a super amazing drawing at the end, but you're gonna have ideas. I mean, uh, Last Friday, I took one of my warm-ups and spent like a lunchtime just kind of slowly doodling, uh, relaxing, and uh, coloring it a little bit. It's super fun, you know. It's not that often you get that freedom. I mean, at least not for me. I mean, I have two kids, wife, and all these things that require time. So having this little me time in the morning is. is Quite sweet, actually. I do not regret it, even though it takes time and effort uh, and all these things, but it's, it's a great sensation. So, you actually do have a warm up every day. But you do it. Um, is it regular though? 
or is it whenever you have time to do it? <laughs> and the, that's a good one, yeah, get a wife. Um, now get kids, they'll get you up. Or an alarm clock. <laughs> Don't go to bed too late. I kind of realized that uh, quite an interesting thing, you know. I think I can work efficiently to a certain time. And then I can still do the hours, I can still do the work, but it's such an uphill battle, you know, like when you start to get to 1 a.m. and you just, I guess, eyes get tired. Um, what I kind of want to try is to go to bed earlier and wake up earlier. You know, like my only problem with that is my kids are sleeping. I can't make coffee and that's going to be awful waking kids up at you know five in the morning but uh, I think you probably go be become more efficient because you are rested right and you're just full of energy even though you might be tired in the morning but <laughs> that is <laughs> yeah Yeah, but I mean, uh, I, there's no coffee places open at 5 a.m. here. It all opens, you know, later. <laughs> that is, that's, that's perfect. Yeah, and also, you forgot, Dennis, um, it's five-year-olds uh, that that sell Gumroad tutorials on how to fold paper that can barely um, wipe their own ass. Is there some bitterness being uh, <laughs> sensed here? <laughs> I just find it a bit weird that some people are teaching when they probably should be learning. Hello, Lobster D. That was a trap. Good morning. Okay, 12 more minutes. Today was a was an interesting day. Warm up some super weird monster <laughs> I said D not the ending yeah it's a lot of weird um, people making weird assumptions what they should be teaching actually i kind of like it but, but like a, a bust by the way i updated the um, youtube archive with the uh, previous week finally they put up yesterday morning uh, so if you missed any and that you want to go have a look the YouTube archive is uh, underneath in a link uh, you know they should also be the Friday lunch uh, coloring one and uh, uh, the week before but they're labeled wrong they're called March when it should be May I have to go on some 
Sure, I mean, uh, who? I mean, I don't want. I don't gonna tell. Like, I'm not gonna be the person saying you can't make a Gumroad tutorial. I'm just saying that there's a lot of people teaching other artists, uh, which I think shouldn't be teaching. They have still so much to learn, and the dangers of teaching someone wrong, which you know some some students do pay a lot of attention to when someone teaches something, rather than just shrugging it off. You know? There's, it's a, I think it's a there's a risk should be a responsibility if someone decides to teach, you know that there should be actual knowledge behind it, you know. And I can I can gladly say like I've been teaching at CG CG Master Academy uh, for I taught there for four years now. My class just ended because it got too outdated. Uh, I I decided to to uh, take it offline until I make 2.0. Uh, but this was one of the best uh, best uh, rated classes at CG Master Academy. I think it's just because you know I, I take a lot of responsibility and time to the students and make sure that they teach it, get taught correctly. You know, I'm not saying I'm some sort of master, but I definitely uh, gave my course a lot of thought and work, and, and I took on responsibility to teach. You know. Uh, Andy, uh, just to answer, yes, I do work with lines uh, most of the day. Uh, for work, I do with line. And the, I think I can still, you know, sell the class like a, on a, as a gum road. But the thing is, I took it down because I, I sensed it being old. You know, the outdated uh, visuals and clunky approaches compared to uh, the evolution the steps have taken. You know, for four years. You know, so I, I don't, I don't want to sell it, even though it's old. Even though you know, just because it's not on CGMA anymore, I took it down from CMA, CGMA. Uh, they didn't want it down, you know. But I said, well, I, in good conscience, I can't have have it up. You know? I mean, my kill, my kill is uh, without a doubt. A super clever guy and a really great uh, orator with a sharp intellect, you know. Any Mike Hill stuff is worth buying because he puts time into it. He definitely uh, respects that aspect of teaching, you know. He wants to teach correctly. And uh, yeah, I mean uh, the pr the design principles and the 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 actual kind of thoughts that my class has that won't really change. Uh, I mean, it's the same. I mean, if I would do my class, I would teach in principally the same thing, right? My 2.0 version, but I would tweak it. I would explain it differently. I would uh, slightly record all the uh, movies differently. Um, you know, try to explain things in a way where it makes a little bit more sense. I mean, uh, look, judging by all the my students, I mean, most of them are excelling in the field. You know, they are all getting hired and working where they want to work. So obviously, uh, I'm doing something right because you can see it on the portfolio before and after, and uh, a year after, how how they have. Uh, taken the process into heart and, and are developing it on their own because I was teaching this process where 
I'm not telling you what to do, I'm telling you how to think to do what you want to do, right? Uh, but giving them factual exercises to practice that design aspect, right? Good morning, slime kicks. Uh, my kill is super cool. He's a really nice guy. Very friendly. <clears throat> the problem with the environment teachers uh, is a lot of them are very based on their process. But I'm assuming um, James Pike, Pike, probably. He does environments, right? If I'm not mistaken. And he has a um, school. Brainstorm, isn't it? <laughs> Andy, I, I can't, unfortunately. Uh, I would get fired for streaming NDA stuff. Um, but every morning you're free to come. Every morning this time is a warm-up. Right, yeah. That's cool, Dennis. I think uh, James Pike is... Uh, he does, he's very design-heavy. I think which is the, the correct way to go. Hey, good morning, Vulcan Fels. Unfortunately, there's only four minutes left of my stream. Until tomorrow's stream. I'm kind of a bit confused about the up part here. Like a part of my brain is telling me to make some sort of rail out but I'm kind of fighting the urge to put the rail there not like a metallic rail but like a, a you know like a bar maybe drool maybe drool would be cool or is it too generic angry monster drooling I don't know I kind of like it Uh, Peter, I don't know actually. There was a one guy last year recording uh, all the talks, uh, but uh, not all of them were released. Um, I think they will record the, uh, all the lectures. Um, my lecture will be about uh, more or less my CGMA class, but um, my 2.0 version as a lecture rather than uh, um, more like my 2.0 version which I haven't finished uh, but it, it's gonna be a lot more it's just gonna be theory uh, I'm not gonna paint any um, um, I did this similar talk in IW last year but I've uh, I've updated it for, for IFCC still working on it Yeah, I think uh, I think um, they should record them and sell and you know earn money for next year's IFCC. I would happily give them the income of uh, my lecture so that they make uh, IFCC next year because it's completely uh, void of sponsors. And IFCC is a really nice and relaxed workshop. It's like a vacation workshop where everyone is just happy and learns. 
last year was really good. I met I met a lot of new friends actually, and uh, a lot of students of mine, former students, and uh, students that uh, they became students uh, later. Andy, I don't have one either. I don't. I didn't get the movie. I don't know, I don't, it didn't offer it, so... <clears throat> I love these happy accidents with a big texture brush and that you just leave them in and it just becomes a part of the body. Oh, it's so fun. It's... It's something I really have to be conscious about more. Um, and IFCC, I'm, I might actually do a lecture or a talk rather, demo about the 30 minute warm up and like lessons I've learned so far, doing it for almost a month um, and uh, just general like benefits of doing uh, a warm up every day. Uh, today the music is an uh, artist called um, El Sane, E-L-S-I-A-N-E, -E. I really like the way she sings. Alright, time's up. Uh, the thing with my lecture and class Vulcan Fels is uh, you can scale it to your how good you are and it's design principles rather than these are the maneuvers right anyways thank you all for coming um, see you wonderful people tomorrow alright bye